AGMs are not always a source of celebration, but the AGM of the Friends of the Australiana Pioneer Village was just that, because for many of us it was the first time we could attend an AGM in a COVID-safe environment for, for a very long time. The rules were clear, carry your own chair, names taken, and none of the usual handshaking and hugs to those wrapping up or taking up a position. The Friends reopened the village in early July. This is not just a volunteer organisation. This is a volunteer-run tourist destination in Wilberforce in the Hawkesbury. And they estimate they lost around $50,000 in revenue during their nearly four-month closure. Of course, smoke from the bushfires also wreaked havoc with their summer openings. But even if you're not open, animals still need to be tended and the upkeep of historic buildings transplanted here still has to happen. The Pioneer Village rely on revenue from various sources, but also donations. And I was very pleased to see that Corb donated money that they had left over from their fight to save history in Windsor within the last 12 months, a very worthwhile $3,000 donation. At a recent visit to see the work of the Hawkesbury Men's Shed on the site at the Pioneer Village, I was also able to see the wheelchair-friendly tables purchased with the $5,000 grant I'd secured for the group. On the men's shed, I do hope they'll be able to fulfil their ambitious plans in a way that benefits both important groups who each do so much to connect our community. Oh, thank you.